Welcome to another Sign Warehouse tutorial for using Vinyl Express LXI software. We're going to call this Text Tutorial 2 because, well, who doesn't love alliteration? Also because we've already talked about creating and customizing basic text attributes in Text Tutorial 1. The way we did that was using our text tool and adjusting the text using Design Central. Now I'm still going to use and reference Design Central, but instead of using the text tool, I now want to switch to this Select tool. Notice that there is now a red outline around my text, showing that it has been selected. You'll also notice that the control options and numbers have changed over here in Design Central. Now I'm going to show you again. Keep an eye on Design Central as I switch to the Text tool, and now the Select tool. Everything changes. You see, Design Central allows you to view and adjust different aspects of every tool, making it extremely valuable. But why did everything change if we simply selected the same text we were already working with? It's because now we're treating our title as an object instead of a text. So you'll notice that you can scale the object up or down using Design Central. If I uncheck the proportional box, I can now adjust the height and width separately. Okay, up to this point I've made most of my adjustments using Design Central. The reality is you're going to customize your design using a combination of Design Central and your mouse pointer. For instance, if I just want to barely move my object, I may do it here in Design Central. But if I need to move it dramatically, I'll just click and hold the object and move it to wherever I want. Same thing with sizing. I may barely adjust it in Design Central or more dramatically with my mouse. Try practicing it both ways. Also, if you're using your mouse, see what happens when you hold the shift button or maybe the control button. Just ways to give you a little bit more control over your design. Okay, back in Design Central, we'll move to the second tab where we can adjust the rotation and the shear, which is kind of a slant feature. Again, I can make these moves with my mouse or Design Central. And these tools at the bottom allow me to rotate the object in 90 degree increments, either clockwise or counterclockwise, and even flip the object on the X axis and the Y axis. Now I think this next tab is the coolest. It's the character tab and it allows me to manipulate and fine tune each individual character in my text. So notice how I can adjust the sizing and spacing, even the tilt, all of this to individual characters. And, and this is where you can really customize your text. Finally, we have this paragraph tab. Now you'll notice it has the same alignment options we saw in tutorial one when looking at the text tool. The difference is I can align and orient each line separately. For instance, I'm going to leave the first two lines aligned left, but I'm going to align this last line to the right. And instead of reversing everything, I'll just reverse some of the letters on my second line. Just like with the text tool, you can use the select tool to control word spacing, tab distance, you can make and adjust a word box. The same features we covered in the first text tutorial. And we could go over them again, but instead, I want to take you somewhere else. And that's here to text menu on the top toolbar. Most of the options here are things that you'll find in most text programs, and largely tools we've already seen. You know, sizing, spacing, justifying left, right, center. But there's one more tool that is really important, and that's this one that says break apart. When I break apart highlighted text, I can then freeform every character individually. I can move characters. I can size them. Rotate them. And it gives me complete control of the individual characters. So play around with that feature. Also the join together option. Okay, so we have created and manipulated text using the text tool and select tool, both in conjunction with Design Central. Our next video will cover a couple of favorites, the Arc text tool and the Path text tool.